baked in one by Arthur Hugh Clough over a mountain slope with lentisk, and with a bounding arbutus, and the red oak overdufted, mid a noontide now glowing fervidly, the Leto born, the divine one, Artemis, Arcadian wood rover, alone, hunt weary, unto a dell centering many streamlets her foot unerring had guided. Platinus with fig tree shaded, a hollow, shaded a waterfall, where pellucid yet abundant streams from perpetual full flowing sources a current. Lower on either bank and sunshine flowered the oleanders. Plenteous under a rock green herbage here to the margin grew with white poplars overcrowning. She thither arrived, unloosening joyfully the vest and folded upon her, swift her divine shoulders discovering, swiftly. Revealing her maidenly bosom and all her beauty beneath it, to the river water overflowing to receive her yielded her ambrosial nakedness. But with an instant conscious, with the instant that a mortal terrific anger flew to the guilty doer, that moment, where amid amply concealing plain leaves he the opportunity pursued, long vainly, possessed, unwise. Actian, of hunters, hapless of Arcadian, and most misguided of hunters, knew the divine mandate, new fate directed upon him. He, to the boughs crouching, with dreadful joy the desired one had viewed descending, viewed as in a dream, disarraying, and the unclad shoulders awestruck, awestruck let his eyes see the maidenly bosom, but not dim fear fell upon. Them not more had witnessed. Not, therefore, lest the forest through ranging, their master ceasing thenceforth to remember, with the instant together came trooping, as to devour him, his dogs from the ambush. Transformed suddenly before them, he fled, an antlered stag wild with terror to the mountain. She, the liquid stream in, her limbs carelessly. Reclining, the flowing waters collected grateful about her. 